You think it's funny? It's not. I'm gonna let you know in this video. So watch and sit put. Hello guys, how are you all doing today? In today's video, I wanna talk about, again guys, family. My name is Johnny, but before we start, please subscribe our channel and push that like button. You're gonna help me to spread that as much as possible. Guys, um, the subject is family. And again, if you and me, we wanted to improve our marriage, we wanted to, you know, go to a, a high level with how we look after our kids, we need to sacrifice. So you and me, sacrifice and action are the things you and I need to do in order, guys, to improve our relationship, in order to get the one we love most, up here okay and I want to share an experience I had with my oldest daughter Deborah I was playing with her um, probably two weeks ago and uh, you know I just put her on my shoulder just chuck on my shoulder and I was spinning her around I tossed her up um, what else I did with her a um, few times I was kind of <laughs> you know as I was waiting um, you know, lifting up some weight with her. And in a few times, I realized that she was uncomfortable. She wasn't really happy with that. And she said, I, I, hey, daddy, um, I'm scared of it. Two times. Another time she said, oh, oh, daddy, please stop. But because I thought, you know, in, in, in my mind, I thought we were having fun. So I, I didn't want to stop that and I just carry on. And uh, after, you know, 10 minutes went by, I, I got tired, you know, she's 15 kgs, been lifting up her all the time, all over the place. It was a bit tiring for me at the end. And then I stopped. And so I went to talk to Josie, my wife. Sometimes it's not a good idea to talk to your wife, guys. I can assure you. <laughs> so off I went. And, and Josie, as her always do, very kind. Pull me over and she start uppercutting me. <laughs> she start hitting me, guys, honestly. And she said, Johnny, do you know that when you're playing with somebody and this person are not laughing, only you are laughing. This is not playing, this is bullying. I was like, oh, that was boom, you know, bang on my face. And I said, what do you mean? And she said, Johnny, you are stronger, you know, than her, obviously. So when you do this thing and you see that she's not laughing, she's not happy, this is abusing. You can call it either abusing or bullying. And I was like, hey, calm down, calm down. Let's go to talk. And she said, that's the reality, Johnny. And, I, and I, you know, I start thinking that through. And I, and, I, and I can tell you, that's true. You know, I was unfortunately and unconsciously, I can guarantee you, I wasn't doing that. You know, I'll do that intentionally. It wasn't my intention. I was somehow hurting my daughter and her feelings, you know? And, and that wasn't it. This time went, as I said, I thought that through. And I said, oh, you know, going forward, I'm not gonna do that anymore. So when I start playing with my daughter, and I see that, and I see that she's not comfortable, I'll just stop. I'll just you know, that's gonna play another game. Anyways, time went by. I don't know how long it it, it went by, but um, Josie, she was in the kitchen, and she saw Deborah playing with her friend. We have an Indian. She has a an Indian friend, very good friend of hers, pretty much the best friends, and they were playing. And all of a sudden, just, just start hearing, Deborah, don't do this. Stop it. I don't like it. Please stop. And Josie said that Deborah, she was cracking up. 
guy, you know, really laughing at it. And this girl wasn't, you know, happy about it. And Josie said, hey, Deborah, you gotta stop. So you see what happened here, guys? She started replicating what I did to her, you know? And that was very bad because this girl, she was like, you could see her face, you know, it was very down. But she, you know, somehow she learned it off me and she was now passing it down. You see how serious this thing is? And how serious we gotta, I mean, and how serious we gotta take when we, um, you know, are doing whatever with our kids because whatever we do, they can, you know, pass it. They can cope it. So it's it's very serious our responsibility. So from you know being abused by me unconsciously, as I said, she was now what abusing. She was the abuser, which is very sad. And then you know myself and Deborah, we talked that through, and I've been talking to her over and over about it. But the, 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 the last point I want to talk about it was that um, you and I, we know, and the whole globe, guys, the suicide rate is just like <laughs> spiking. It's just, you know, touching the roofs. All over the world, people are, you know, especially teenagers, they're taking their lives away because of what? One of the reasons are abusing and bullying at school from their peers, you know? And I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that you and I, we as, as parents, we don't want our kids to be, you know, bullying someone at school and later, later on, this person that was bullied go home and take their lives away. That's serious. That adds a very, very like strong weight upon our kids' shoulders and even ours. So it's good for us to pay attention, guys. guys when we are playing with our girls because you know the consequences can be very huge and and i can tell you i know and i've seen there are parents unfortunately that they intentionally they're bullying their kids you know they do that intentionally they mess them around and what you expect they will do they will pass this around and they literally they can cause others death depression you know, people that are, are bullied and they can't defend themselves, literally, is, is what happens to them is as if we are, you know, crashing their identity, we are crashing their spirit, you know, we are making them like as, as much as dirt, you see? So, again, I think that's very um, valuable and we should take that for consideration. And again, this is three points that I said, me not respecting my daughter, not realizing, not, you know, seeing that she wasn't comfortable. Second, my daughter replicating what I, what I did to her. And third, that the result of it can be, you know, causing other people, especially teenagers, you know, death. Because some people, they don't have the backbones to stand bullying. Some people, they don't have the backbones to stand abusing at school. And we know that. I can tell you, we know that. We have heard so many times stories of kids taking their lives away because they you know, couldn't handle, they couldn't cope with so much pressure and abused and bullied that they get at school. So I hope you liked this video that made a lot of sense to me and I'm now very conscious and, 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 and I still play and have fun with my daughter. I can tell you can carry on with your fun time with her and with him as well. But just ensure and be you know conscious of it, you know, what you do and how you do. I hope you like that. And I will be talking about the same thing, the same circumstance that happened between me and, and Deborah on the next video. That is the second part of it. This is just the first, guys. I hope you like it. See you there.